Hey, what's up, Hank Klinger? Hope this is a okay spot for this camera. So this is my third day. Of, uh, I got up at like 4:15 today. My challenge I'm doing for 30 days, and it's awesome. Uh, I was a little tired, but I figured out a really good way to wake myself up, and that's ice cold shower, freezing cold shower. And the water gets cold here in Sweden, and it's really good on so many levels. I mean, besides the fact that it just snaps you right up. Uh, for me, you know, being a guy, it increases testosterone levels in the body. Uh, it's really good for your skin, it's good for your blood circulation. It lowers the levels of cortisol in the body, which is really bad for your heart. Um, and there's just a lot of other benefits for it. It's good for your hair, it's good for everything. It just really gives you a boost of energy and really makes you feel alive. And granted, I only did it for like 5 or 10 seconds because it was cold. I'll shoot for a longer one tomorrow. But that's not what this video is really about. You know, getting up early and being the only person that's out at like 4 in the morning, 4.30 in the morning, and the moon's still out. Even the animals, you know, seem to be asleep, except for the bunny rabbits. They're all over Sweden, and it realizes. But it really gives you a different kind of connection, different kind of peace and feeling. Because I work outside, and it's cold out, the moon's out, you know, it's dark, and there's a little calisthenics outdoor training center that's like 15 minutes from here and I'll go and do my pull-ups and everything. But I really can feel the connection. It's like my time and come totally present and really feel the connection with everything. You know, for any of you who watched my videos before, you know that I have a monistic view of the universe, the theory that all is one and that one is all, that all substance and matter comes from one formless substance, which is intelligence. Some people call it God, some people call it uh, the divine hologram, you call it the zero point field, universal intelligence, I simply call it consciousness. But I've been seeking more and more to come in tune with this intelligence, with this consciousness, and to feel it. This is what awareness is, is waking up to your true self. And it's not something that anybody can tell you what how to do. It's something that just you sort of feel. And it's not something that you can claim as happy having, right? You can't claim to be enlightened. I'm not sitting here like, I'm enlightened, I'm this enlightened being or something like that. I just, I'm an explorer, you know, of, of truth, basically, and, and an expression of life. And that's what this is about, you know? And I want you to understand something. A lot of people in this world, they're sleeping, they're in a hypnotic trance throughout their whole life from impressions that have been put upon them and these limiting beliefs that have been instilled upon them from their parents and from the media and from news and it's sad because they've never realized their true potential and it's the reason that so many inventions that could change the world creations and innovations never come to fruition because these beliefs create a fear in people that stops them from being their true self and limit living to the limitless, limitless potential that they're capable of so what I want to do right now is I want to ask you here in a second to just sit for a second, you know, and if you're struggling, I really want to encourage you to do this and to just feel and to listen for the silence that's underneath everything because between every sound, underneath every sound, there's a silence and to feel instead of think, as Bruce Lee said, don't think, feel and feel the heartbeat that's in your chest. Listen for the silence, feel the aliveness of your body. And now you do this now. Now can you feel that? You can feel the heartbeat in your chest. You can feel the energy in you, the vibration of your body. You can hear the silence, right? Even if there's something around you, you still hear it underneath everything. Now this is something that's very important is I want to explain to you something that this beat that's in your chest, this heart is not just simply a physical muscle that is beating inside of your body, in your chest this is the very heartbeat of the universe because you literally experience the unfoldment of the universe in every second you weren't put here by chance. It wasn't just some, you know, chance that you were born. Consciousness, for one reason or another, chose to express itself through you. It's intelligent. You know, it chose to awaken itself in a physical representation through you. And 
every second of every moment, the universe experiences exactly what you're experiencing right now. Your consciousness, as you share it with everybody, it's holds everything together. It binds this universe. It's the intelligence that's in everything. It's in me, it's in the camera, it's in your computer screen. Without your consciousness, none of this would exist. That's how important you are. That's how much power you have inside of you. And I want to encourage you that if you're watching this video to start seeking to connect with it. Because that's when you awaken to your true power. I'm talking about power over yourself. Mastery, self-mastery. So you can master your mind, master your emotions, and ultimately master your life. And realize that you are your own star. That self-reliance can't be yours. And that self-reliance should be the ultimate objective of every human being in existence. It's important that you do this. And the more that you seek this truth, the more that you seek your internal power, the more that you seek a connection with the source of all life, the more you'll get an understanding of why you're here. Because everybody has a purpose, right? You have your outer purpose. I can't tell you what that is. It's different for everybody. But everybody also has an inner purpose. The inner purpose is to find the true connection with infinite intelligence, with God, with the source of all power, with this infinite energy field that's in everything, right? That is everything, that's in you, that's in me. Whether you believe in God or not, scientifically, you can call it the zero point field. It's an energy that's in all, constant flux, that everything goes to and comes from, right? And it's limitless. It's eternal. It's been here forever. It always will be. Long after humans are, are gone, you know. And I really want to encourage you to start seeking this energy. Because if it's in everything, it has nothing to fear. And if it's you and you, then you in turn should have nothing to fear either. And this is what true self-reliance is. Is when you start living your life for you. And you become what you want to become, not the expectation of other people. Not what your beliefs create, not what you believe from your childhood, what you should do or what you should be. But what your true purpose is that's in your heart. And more and more people are awakening to this fact that they need to live their own life for themselves. And you have to be selfish. You have to start living for your own needs. Start doing what makes you happy. Because only when you do this can you become a true creator and really give your gift to the world. And you're that important. Because you can have something in you that could change the world. Every person in history, everyone in history who's ever had a serious impact in the world is no different than you or I. They're all born from the same material, all came from a womb all went through the same struggles, the same hardships, and had the same transformational experience that gave them the power to recognize the truth about themselves and to overcome fear, objections, and obstacles to make a difference and an impact in this world. People like Dr. Martin Luther King, right? One man, Rosa Parks, one woman, Kennedy, you know, people that really had an impact on the world. They were just like you, they were just like me. The founding fathers of the United States of America, you know, and if they saw what this country had come to right now, they would hurt. Because this is not how this country was intended to be. This is not how the United States was intended to be. This is not how the world was intended to be. People are not meant to go through life in a hypnotic trance, slaving away to a system that doesn't work, 
having no value in their lives. There's a deeper, truer sense and meaning to life. When you can awaken to this truth. I'm very passionate about this because I believe that right now is a turning point for the entire human race. You know, we've hit a spot in our evolution that we have the ability to wipe ourselves out. And we're in turmoil. And I know this from experience. This isn't from news. I've been around this world for the last 10 years. I've seen a lot of things with my own two eyes. I've contributed a lot to devastation in the past. Okay? And it's important right now because I do believe that the world is becoming. That is always going towards completion. But I do believe that people need to wake up and need to understand that right now, right now is all that matters. Right now is when you need to make the choice. Right now is when people need to change. Because it rests on the future of the entire human race to be the best version of you, to awaken all of yourself, to do whatever it takes to create a life by your own design. Because everybody who creates a life by their own design will create an amazing life that will help the world move forward. Because deep inside of everybody, behind the mind, behind the ego, behind the tongue, is the character and virtues of the soul which always shine true and make people do the right thing. So this is just a video of inspiration and to encourage you to seek your true self because whatever you seek, you will find. Now if you want more encouragement, inspiration, or to connect with me in any way, work with me, I'm going to encourage you to click the link below this video and connect with me on Facebook. My name is Hank Klinger. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.